this menu on the iPad wrapped underneath the logo. In doing that, it made this top dark part extend down to where it covered up the secondary menu. So it wasn't so much an aesthetics issue as it was a user experience issue because if they can't see that secondary menu, then that's a bad thing because that's where they book the calls or email me. So that's really the direct response menu. And then the top one is just content. You want further info, but here's the direct response menu. I'm using rev.com, blazing fast on-demand services. Totally true, completely 100%. Caption and subtitle videos. That's what I'm using it for. So let's show you what I mean. This has closed captioning, so we'll make sure that it's on. So eventually I bit the bullet and said, okay, I'll go to Rainmaker. I was trying to make my site on Rainmaker look like the old site. That is a big mistake. That sucks a crap ton of time, and it typically sucks the time before you get into the content creation, right? So because if they're if they're tinkering with the design of the website and this the layout and the setup and all of that stuff then they're not creating content rather than like John was saying which I totally agree with I learned a mile through experience as well much as humanly possible you want to set it and forget it as far as the design you can always update the the entirety of the design in the future but as far as to get started it's content creation you have to start building that content putting your voice out there and developing your voice. Amy Schmittauer made me chuckle, but she gave a little acronym and P was for practice. And she's like, you know, P is for practice because that's just self-explanatory <laughs> and it is.